tube are one in which they turn it on and the fluid climbs up. It turns out that in order to get a shape where the fluid climbs up, you have to do some very expensive um, machine chopping on a, on a spiral because they literally have to make uh, a very you know, well-calculated spiral to cause the fluid to drag up. So in our case, we're simply taking the material and putting it up on the... Uh, what applications does this have? So, first for large-scale industrial applications, one of the things that this shows up is, notice that even though it's held in place, I can rotate it around. And in addition, you, you can't feel it because you're not touching it, but closer to the, um, the metal, it gets denser. So this gets used a lot when you want to make very low friction surfaces because you can coat a material, you know, like the inside of a pipe in the, the fluid, put magnets around it so the fluid's kept near the edges, and this stuff will flow down, you know, very freely. So there's lots of, you know, like expensive machines that use this stuff. And then